Hello everybody, and I'm going to be doing a review on just my basic backpacking setup. I do have more stuff than this, like my toothbrush and food and gas canister, but this will be like the big, the main things that you need to go and some. So, it's my backpack. It's a North Face Badlands backpack. I'm not sure the size, it's pretty big though. It's a pretty hefty one. It's a pretty sweet pack actually. Not too bad at all. It's pretty durable and whatnot. Good in storage in it. Then I got my sleeping bag, which is a Marmot uh, Elite, something like, something like that. I forget what it's called. It's pretty sweet. It goes to like minus 18 degrees Celsius, which when you're in Canada is pretty good. There it is. That one. It's pretty sweet. Mummy style sleeping bag. And I got a hammock, which I don't always bring with me, but I do sometimes. It depends if I'm going to be hammocking or not. And I got my sleeping pad, which is a... What's it called? Um, V-Light or Climate, that's what it's called. You can see it. Yeah, it's a Climate one. It's just pretty sweet. Definitely does the trick. And I just put it in this... See the Summit dry bag? Or not dry bag, compression sack right here. Oh, okay. Compression sack. Pretty nice. Then I got my food bag slash cook and cleaning cookware bag. A dry bag. Got a washcloth in there for washing dishes. I need to get some more pots. I don't have them with me right now. They're at my other place. I got a Primus Light stove. Everything's inside of it. I'll prop this up for a sec so I can actually show you. Oh, there. So. So that comes out there. entire stove in here. Definitely been used a lot. And then a lot. A little stand for the tank. This one folds out and clips to the bottom of your gas canister. And then I got this little piece of dowel in there or whatever it is which works as a good stir stick. So that's that. And this just goes back in there just like this. It's really bright here, sorry for the glare. Super bright. What else have I got in here? I got uh, water filter, got the life straw. It works really well. Some utensils, a little dish scraper, some utensils, my forks, and my lunch kit right now, actually, believe it or not. And those are randomly sitting in there. So, yeah, that's my food wear bag, cookware bag. Then we got my rifle. Take this thing with me. Whenever I go out, it's a little overkill, I know, a little extra bit of weight, but definitely does the trick, because there's a lot of grizzlies out here and a lot of bears, and rather have it and need it than not have it and need it. So, it's a Henry Big Boy X, it's 44 Magnum, and I have a red dot on it, which will turn on. Oops. You gotta turn this thing on sometimes. There we go. You can see that. Pretty sweet gun. A little lever action. I have a bipod and stuff on this thing too for when I'm not packing it. It's super smooth action.
real smooth action on it. Hold seven, one in the chamber. So she's definitely a real nice rifle. And it's got this on it and fiber optic sights, threaded barrel. It's pretty short too, it's only three feet tall. Like this is it compared to a kitchen counter. So as you can see, it's a lot shorter. It's just a short little one. It's like the smallest thing you can get in Canada legally. Down there. So there's a hole. So yeah, that's my backpacking setup right there.